What's up everyone? Today I'm going to be replacing my factory 2016 SRT uh, front grill badge on my Charger Hellcat and I'm going to be replacing it with the stock 2018 badge that has the actual Hellcat head as part of the badge. Uh, once I'm done that I will then be reinstalling some of the reflective concepts uh, overlay badge decals uh, so I'll end up with basically that with the cat head at the end of it um, I have already pried this badge off of the car um, I was able to successfully uh, do that without breaking the two tabs that actually hold it on however there were some alignment tabs that did break uh, during the course of being pried off um, so the tool that I use to do that I use just a regular upholstery tool uh, for pop and push pins and things of that nature. I started under the corner here Because uh, I'll show you in a second when I take this off where the pins that hold it onto the grill are located But I started under that corner was able to work that badge loose or I'm sorry that clip loose And then once that side was loose I started working down from the top of course being very careful not to hit the lip of the bumper while I was doing this and started prying down from here and then the badge, like I said, a couple of pins broke off, but the two pins that hold it on um, actually are still intact. So if I actually wanted to use this again, I could. Uh, so basically here's what it actually looks like. This is the plastic housing that holds that on there. I have no idea why Dodge decided the chargers had to be different than the challengers. Uh, you can see a little bit of the pry marks from the tool. Of course, it's behind the badge, so it's not like you're going to see this with the new badge. Um, but basically, this hole right here and this hole right here are the two holes that actually have tabs that go through them and hold the badge on the grill. This is an alignment hole, and that's an alignment hole. And it's those two pins that actually broke on the badge. Um, you can see them here. Uh, again, that's the clip that, that holds it in place on this side. This is the clip that holds it in up here on this hole. And these are the two alignment tabs, and you can see that one broke. You can see this one here. Crap. This one here broke almost to the plastic. Uh, and this one here broke off about halfway. But if I wanted to, I could actually go ahead and, and put this badge back on. And it would, in fact, stay on because the two important clips, that one and that one, are still intact and would actually still hold. So that's basically what it looks like to get it off the car. Um, like I said, I just used you know, a regular push pin tool. I've seen others online where they go through the grill uh, with some kind of tool and they push from the back. Um, I was able to actually get up underneath. And as long as you know which way the pins are facing, so on the one behind the S, you can actually see that the pin needs to be pushed that way to loosen it so you know that's what I did with the tool and then um, my mistake was on the top I came down from the top to try to pop it out and if you look at that pin which I did not do before I actually started you can see that uh, if I had come up from the bottom I may have actually been able to loosen this pin without breaking that tab there and that tab there but either way, I'm not really worried about it because, like I said, if I wanted to reuse this, I certainly could since the other tabs are intact. Alright, so now that it's off, I'm going to go ahead and place the other one. Uh, it should be pretty straightforward, but before I do so, I have a sticker on the back. It's the, just the part number and all that, so I'm going to remove that real quick. Alright, so I've gotten the sticker off the back of the badge. As you can see, no more stickers. So at this point, I'm going to go ahead and mount it to the car. You heard that nice audible snap when the clips went in in place. So the badge is now attached, nice and solid. Uh, there's a little play on this end, but. I'm not worried about it. It ain't going nowhere. Uh, that clips in. <clears throat> Interestingly enough, it does appear 
that this badge is a slight bit bigger than that mounting section that's actually molded into the grill. Um, if you hold up the old badge, uh, you can see that the edge by the S on the original badge is a little thinner. You can see the, the S the badge there. When I hold the camera up after I do the decal, you'll see how much thicker that is. Uh, so it does stick out a little bit further. Um, but other than that, it's pretty much the exact same type of badge as, as what the factory 2016 comes with. Uh, so at this point, I'm going to go ahead and work on the uh, Reflective Concepts badge overlay decal. I'm going to use some straight alcohol prep spray to clean off the badge itself. Uh, this is actually some prep spray that I received from Lux Auto Concepts uh, with one of their uh, taillight tinting kits. Uh, any, any type of prep spray should work without a problem. All you're trying to do is make sure that the badge is clean enough so that the uh, decal... Okay, let's try that again. Sorry about that. Camera fell on the little box that it's sitting on. That's what happens when you're using your cell phone because you don't have any money to buy a GroPro to do this uh, video correctly. So I apologize again. So basically you just spray the letters nice and thoroughly and then make sure you dry everything up accordingly make sure you don't want you don't want any extra you know spray left over or else the decals won't adhere correctly of course now I'm touching the badge again so I'm gonna have to do this all over again so make sure it's fixed in there correctly it's not gonna come off wow two screw ups in one video gotta love using half-assed equipment to complete a task. All right, let's start this again. So, spray the alcohol, and wipe the badge down. Again, like I said, you wanna make sure you... Okay, hopefully third time's a charm with this. So, all right, let's finish wiping this off. All right, so now that's that, that is done, you want to peel off the uh, backing off of the lettering to expose the surface of the decals themselves. Okay, so when you do this, you want to be really careful that you don't pull the letter actually off onto the backing piece. There we go. You can see the letters are still adhered to the front tape. And at this point, you just start with the S and line it up as much as possible. The other letters should just kind of fall in place. Although, it doesn't look like that's happening. Turn that back off a little bit. Set it back a little bit further. It looks like these decals might be a little bit bigger than the actual badge itself. We have to peel these off one at a time. Wow, this is way more complicated than the first one I did. the fact and fix that better so now I'm gonna work on the R okay and now last but not least the T <clears throat> use a window tinning squeegee to get some pressure on it 
trying to get it to stick better to the letter. I have a feeling that I'm going to be reapplying this at some point. Alright, so that seems to be working alright. So now they're all on. So I will go over these one more time with the squeegee just to make sure that they're all adhered. seem to be the one that fit the best. Again, there must be slight variations in the dimensions of the letters from the 2016 badge to the 2018 badge. Not sure why the hell that would be. You would think Dodge would have the letters at, life, at least be the same even if the plastic mounting underneath doesn't match. can see uh, new badge looks pretty good uh, I'm happy with the results uh, the decals themselves not exactly sure what's going on there it does seem like maybe these letters are slightly different in size than the 2016s uh, but for the most part they did fit on without a problem once you know I just scroll around with getting them on the individual letters instead of just laying the whole decal out all at one time. So, all in all, the project isn't that hard to do and getting the other badge off. Like I said, uh, if you know where the tabs are, uh, it should be pretty easy to pry them off, to pry that badge off, uh, either pushing the tabs in from the back side if you have something that you can get through the grill with, or by uh, prying up uh, you know, the corner of the badge itself. Uh, so if you plan on doing this mod, good luck and thanks for watching.